welcome back to Portal 2. Last time we farted around, Wheatley betrayed the fuck out of us, and I got lost and fell in the river of shit water for a little while. Uh, that was embarrassing. This time, I hope to be less embarrassing. Um, <laughs> yeah. But again, oh, let's see, remember, this test is unsolvable without an Aperture Science Portable Quantum Tunneling Device. If you have not received one, please find a test associate before participating in any Shaft 9 of enrichment activities. Any one of these? I got one. Haha. -ha. Emancipation grid. Okay, hey. So we have Blue Jazz. Whee! Oh my god, that's so much fun. <laughs> Yay! Hold to prevent bouncing. Nah, I don't want to do that yet. Boop. Okay. Let's go up here. Uh huh. Naturally. So I need a block of some kind. Where do I get a block? Uh, oh, I see. Whee! Okay, the higher the ball. Where'd I go? Oh shit, yahoo! Alrighty. Right on there. And now, fall in. Whee! The oh, lab shit. boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. <laughs> all right then. Uh, next test chamber this way. Well, I want to see what's over here first. Nothing. Okay. You never know, there could be Easter eggs. Um. Yeah. Dude's oh, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even. <laughs> that, was, that was such a stupidly spectacular fail. I can't even. I can't even be upset at myself for that one. I, I just can't. I can't do it. <laughs> it just. That was stupid. That was stupid of me. Okay, we can zoom in. Apparently we need to get over there. The hell are we gonna do that? Oh, hey. Portal there. Oh. oh. Damn it. Cannot portal through there. So, is there any... Duh, right here. <sighs> and fall into the Oh, that was close. Did not want to fall into the shit. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Um, what if you didn't sit in the folding chair? You know, they only did, did, did you think of that? What do platforms? Okay. Whee! I don't, I don't want to prevent bouncing. There we go. Hey, a cube. Okay. Yeah. Push me away from my cube. I oughta. Just sit down there. Whoop! Oh, we're 
up there. This is gonna be fun. Whee! <laughs> there, I oh, made it. In case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this: it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. You tell me this now. You suck. That's why you don't do pre-recorded messages, you idiot. Or at the very least, you you need to put that at the beginning, not at the end. I swear, what's his name? Yeah, fucker's an idiot. All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping, because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Okay then. So I I I, I guess we have to worry about this asbestos <laughs> No, I'm fine. Uh, that was kind of horrible. That was a bad joke. I apologize. Uh, so, okay. We're in this area. Where do we go? What do we do? Alright, where's our goal? Uh, maybe up there? No. Maybe further up. Or maybe over here. <gasps> oh, yeah. Portals. You gotta love them. So where's my potato? Uh, it's over here. It's over there. Gel flow. Okay, so more flowing of the jelly. The jelling and the flowing and the flowing and the jelling. Oh, hey. That looks like an area of the go. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Yeah, Bean counter sure. said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. You're an asshole. Oh, hi. Oh, now we can use portals with these. Yay!
Damn it. Should get up there. Whee! Okay. Alrighty. There's the exit. Way the fuck over there. we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Really? What the hell kind of science are you pulling here, buddy? I mean, I, okay, I guess I suppose on the one hand, whatever knowledge you could gain from this kind of weird experimental shit could be useful, but I don't know, man. Oh. Clearly marked enter. I now, guess if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. What? It looks like we've got water. Except that it's not so much water. Okay. Uh, I think I see. Let's bounce. ceiling.
okay. I think it was more complicated than what it was. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, uh, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Um... Is this really a problem? Accidents hurt. You, you will be hurt. Co-workers don't endanger others. The company. Replacements are costly. Science. Investigations impede progress. Um, uh, how legal is this shit you're pulling here? I heard this was pulled either in Vision. I, think, I heard this is either been taking place in Cleveland or, or Detroit, I think.
Is that there? Okay, can I go walk off the edge? I can't, good. Uh, what's up there? Doesn't look like any place I can shoot up toward. Maybe this has some uses. Whoop! Really? I, I, I got my ass stuck back here. Great. so much about setting everything up. That oh, was a fucking pain in the ass thing for me to do. Wah! Okay, so I'm back. Okay, so now we know not to go that way if we're gonna go in any direction. Huh. So it does look to me as though this way is the way. Out there screaming, you idiot, you need to do this! <laughs> uh, I, I, I know somebody is screaming that. They, they, they must be. Worth a shot. Nope. It's not gonna work. It, it seems like I need to fling myself somewhere. Splash blue everywhere. Oh, my God! Yay! <laughs> let's, let's splash it there, too. Oh, hi. Okay, that that 
that's helpful. <laughs> okay. And now, oi, 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 oi. Ow. You know, if this wasn't a video game, I think Chell would have had a broken face a long damn time ago. So, okay, where to next? Um, let's see. Figuring things out is fun. <laughs> um, so let's see. Where do we go? Where do we go from here? Um, do I need to go back and do another thing? Gonna hope not. Maybe that over there is where I need to go? up, man? First, let me try something. Yeah, that's about as effective as throwing a bag of rice at a tank. <laughs> okay. Whoa! Cube go bouncy! have like perpetual water holy shit <laughs> perpetual water the morpha the stuff off the cube again. Get the stuff on the cube. Make the cube bounce. Come on. Bouncy the cube for me. Really? Alright, first off, I need to make this a little... Okay then. Why would you leave that in? Ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just just wait. Within a while, I'm going to be continually reviewing this this guy. Ah. Oh. Second half of the game, ladies and gentlemen. 
Congratulations. The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. I knew that was fun. She is a gem. Except the exit is boarded. Lovely. So, okay. Um... Yeah, I can portal that. And... Whoa. Looks like Guthrie. What's in here? A beta. So... This is a beta testing strip. If I wanted to go back out there, I would. That means. <gasps> oh, we get to we get to have the, have the have the super fun speedy gel. Yay! I'm looking forward to the speedy gel. That looks fun. Okay, it looks like I gotta launch myself somewhere. But to where? I mean, to be fair, this does look rather. Fragile. No, but it does keep. How the hell? Okay. Um. Crunch. Wrong Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. Hello. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. <laughs> now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything, unless it's test-related. Right. I'm going to touch all of the things. I'm touching the chairs, touching the chairs. You look happy. Touching the chairs. Oh, hey, please take a number. I can't take a number. Aww. Oh, well. What's out here? I guess I have to go to this moving platform. Maybe. 
finally die from impact damage? Did I finally die from impact damage? I think I did. I finally died from impact damage. At least that's how it looks. <laughs> that's a new one on me. At least for these games. Greetings, friend. I'm Hi. Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Uh, now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, okay. welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. No, nope. couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything, unless it's test related. Yeah, well, how about I not touch your face? I don't know what that insult was supposed to be. Anyway, down the hole. Whee! Oh. Ow. Missed. Just missed it. Oh shit, oh shit! Oh shit. Ow! Ow. Damn! Okay then. Um. I guess we're gonna have to listen to that spiel again, aren't we? Shit! <sighs> Where am I? Oh, okay. Yeah, and you know, the thought occurred to me, you know, like a couple of videos ago, that Spazfox is also doing his own run of Portal 2. Although, unlike him, I am sober. Greetings, friend. Which I'm means... Cave Johnson, CEO means... of Aperture Science. Oh my god. You might know us I'm as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate yeah, hearings on missing things. astronauts. And you've most uh, likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now, now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how this is going to Ah! I didn't even make it through the spiel! I didn't even make it through the spiel. God damn, that was horrible. Oh, lordy. Okay. So we're up, we're going. And yes, and yes, if anybody has had questions within the past three videos, I should have addressed this at first. But um, if you've noticed, like at the bottom of the screen, you see the two Patreon links. One is mine, obviously. The other one is for my lovely girlfriend. Greetings, friend. And I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. Becoming, you might know um, us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on um, missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we uh, invented, but, uh, but, but that anyway, other people have somehow Patreon managed to steal, well. steal from us. Shut Black up, Mesa can Johnson. eat my bankrupt Sir, the testing? Right. Is there a way right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. I do. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything, unless it's test-related. Okay, so I do launch myself at some point. Looks like over there I need to launch. But what was I saying? Oh yeah, Patreon stuff at the bottom. Yeah, the other one is uh, my girlfriend, who is also kind of becoming more and more my title card artist, more or less, for certain things. Um, so go and patronize her, give her money, give you know, for arts and stuff. And and if you like my stuff, give me monies too. Yes, this is your your your. This is the segment in which I whore out myself for for your monies. Although, to be fair, um, 
you know, through Patreon and through, because of the patrons I do have, I was able to start, you know, get the equipment and start doing this. I say equipment, really programs. Uh, I guess they kind of count. But I managed to get both of those, both this and for, and a registered version of Fraps to be able to do this. So, so I suppose. Say, you're good at murder. Could you ow, murder this bird for me? What the hell? Oh. Where the hell are you? Gladys now. And now, maybe, just maybe, I can make my way over to this platform. Whee! Ow. Ah. So I have a potato now. I have Gladys. Gladys tots. Maybe that's maybe that's what I could do with the potato. Like 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 after I'm done with this, I could just like you know, chop her up and make tater tots out of her. Gladys tots. What do you think? Think it could work? Chapter seven. Did anything happen while I was out? Um, yeah. Yeah. The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your sixty bucks. Oh God. Oh. Carol, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, Mr. Johnson. Johnson. Why did I just? Who is that? What the hell is going on here? Yeah, you are. Wait, where's the stuff? Oh wait. Ah. So we have that. I need a way to turn on that switch, though. I mean, I know I turned it on earlier, didn't I? Well, let's look up here and see what we can find. Oh, hey, a button. A big red button has got, I've got, has got me written all over it. Well, maybe not yet. You know, but give me time and a crayon. <laughs> oh yeah. So this looks like um uh, well yes that 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 works. Oh wow. That is pretty strong stuff. Okay. I'm gonna start here. Whee! That was fun. Can we do that again? Can we do that again, Gladys? Can we, can we, can we, can we? Ha ha ha. Oh. Fun. 
through god you motherfucker thank you that's fish crew Sorry. i guess emotional outbursts require more than 1.6 volts now we know that we just need to relax we're still going to find out what the hell's going on here but calmly <laughs> yeah well oh oh hey double the pleasure double the fun double the pleasure of double big gum Whee! I don't know what I'm thinking there. Um, let's fire off some blue goo. Or not. How about some orange goo? Aren't you glad I have orange goo? Okay. Let's put that there. Is there a way to maybe get over there? One way to find out! Gladys, you're testing with me. How do you like it? Ow! Oh shit. And we died. Not only did I die, but my potato is now ruined! RUINED! God damn it, potato. But calmly. But calmly. Let's see. Let's see if I can. That doesn't work. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to jump? Let's try it. Let's jump. Oh, that's what I tried before, isn't it? Damn it! Hmm. Okay. But calmly. 
you know, that is the most awkward place to start a level. The, the most awkward way phrase to use when starting a level, but calmly. I know it's the tail end of a convert. It's at the tail end of a monologue, but come on, really? Oh wait. I see now. <laughs> Alright, first. You. Uh it's orange just based up. And then we add some blue. Ah, hi. Uh alrighty then. So let's see if I can do that. That made it. Now then. Um, this is going to be interesting. Maybe it's doable. Let's see. Let's see if that propulsion can keep me up to the exit. And a jump. Let's go. Shit. Well, that sucked. <sighs> Actually, hold on. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this right. Ow! Damn it. I see. Hmm. No, just for kicks. See if that works in any way. Nope, it all just hits the exit. So, so uh, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Thing's called an elevator, not a bathroom. I swear I know him. Do I even need to comment much anymore? Oh, hey, the design's changed. Hmm. I don't know. I, I think I think I do more commenting than Gladys ever will. I can now talk you. Which is saying something. But right now, I think this is going to be a place where I can call it. So, um, yeah, it's, it's been about a good 40 minutes to an hour, probably. I'll know once I have this up, and you'll know once you actually see this. <laughs> uh, so thank you guys for watching. Thanks for, for putting up with me, kind of farting my way through all of this. Um, so, yeah, uh, until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.